Why did they not want to come here to hear the results? Do you know? We were, we were in a hurry to get back to North Carolina. We offered for them to be on satellite with you today, and they refused that as well. Do you know why? No. Okay. All right. Now, Jack, the, you, um, you, you asked two questions here, but only testing one issue, correct? Exactly right. And the question you asked of Sandy is, did you deliberately cause Erica's disappearance? Now, you didn't ask him if he had killed his daughter. Why did you not ask him that? Quite frankly, we don't right. know that she's dead, so that would not be a good question. All right, then the second question, a variation of the first, you said, did you have a plan to cause Erica's disappearance? And his answer to both questions was? No. All right. And you say here that the results to both questions was strongly deceptive. That's correct. The numerical scoring for that particular format uh, was minus nine. In order for him to have failed this test, he would have needed a minus four or above. And so he was what the, I consider strongly deceptive to those relevant questions. This wasn't really even a close call. This was not a close call. It was just quite clear. Carlisle, um, what, what's your comment? The we know that there are problems in what Sandy and Casey have been saying um, as far as logically. Um, I don't know if he misread, the, misinterpreted the uh, uh, question as far as the fact that they did, in fact, deliver her and she's gone now. 